Hey fellow agents, this is Agent Smith and we are playing Legion Suit Larry 3. Although you see that this is Passionate Patty from before in the last episode. Uh, we are now playing as her. As Larry's heard her say another man's name in her sleep and assumed that she wasn't into him so he left. I'm going to grab this wine bottle. And put on some clothes. Can I just say wear clothes? Can't wear what's not yours. Look. So anyway, we're gonna be trying to find Larry. Never be able to look at the suit that this sweet again without thinking of Larry. Okay, okay. Uh. Put on raw. There we go. Is that it? Nope, she's still dressed. Put on panties. For real. I think we'll go through the steps. Uh, they just say put on a suit for Leisure Suit Larry. It's simple. I've always enjoyed the feeling of black lace. Nope, oh, nope, not there yet. Okay. Put on hose. Mose. <laughs> put on a hose. There we go. Patty, you've got legs. <laughs> Sheer energy legs. <laughs> nope, still not quite dressed. Okay, wait. There we go. Put on a dress. You slide your dress over the screen and drop the sheet on the floor. There we go. And she wears a white dress too. Alrighty. Well, we gotta go and find... Now, there's one place that's been in this whole entire game that we haven't been able to go to before. Uh, let's see. Well, we gotta go press 1. Press L for lobby. Unless that 1 is gonna take us to floor number 1, hopefully. Floor number one and the lobby are the same thing. Go over and check our uh, job real quick. And see if we've gotten anything from there. And then we'll head over to what I'm guessing will probably be Chippendales. Because that's about the only place that we haven't been able to go to. And I, Patty strikes me as the type of girl that would probably... If she liked Larry with his muscles and everything, she probably is into the kind of guys that work at a Chippendales. So, first I'll head over to the piano bar. Yeah, so we're here at her bar, and it looks to me like... Oh, where'd I go? There we go. Looks to me like there's a bunch of stuff in this uh, glass. Usually that's uh, money that they get tipped when a piano is working there. Look at piano. It's your tipped glass. Of course, you forgot all about it. All right. Take tips okay let's see do we have a good night tonight oh well a few bucks is better than nothing yeah uh, where you're going to where you're going you're not going to need a lot of money anyway yep we're going out into the woods in fact we need to probably get a couple what the hell is that light there like a rainbow over here <laughs> look that board why look someone left a magic uh bleh, left a marking pin i'm gonna say magic marker Lying in the tray of the announcement board. Take pin. Great. Magic marker. Okay, yeah, that's what I was say. It looked like a, I figured it was a marker and it looked like magic, so I wasn't wrong. A girl never knows when she might need a little magic in her life. We have our own inventory, don't we? Magic marker. Every girl needs a little magic in her life sometimes. Dress didn't. You write off this dress as a business expense. Bra, a Fredericks of coarse gold. <laughs> uh, I found out over the time that coarse gold's apparently where the Sierra Studios are actually located. Pantyhose, super stretch, super support. Panties, Saturday night specials. An empty bottle, exactly why you are carrying around an empty bottle. Exactly why are you carrying? Well, I was actually thinking about that just a minute ago before I found that magic marker. If we're going to be going to hunt down Larry out in the middle of nowhere, most likely, then it'd probably be the best idea to have some type of lot water with us because uh, I know these type of games and that's the kind of bullshit that you have to think about. <laughs> this is your key to your pit house and feed the kitty tips. All right. All right. Let's head over to, I'm going to head over to the Chippendales, which is right near where Larry got the flowers. Scratch that, I'm going to the cabana to get some water first, and then I'm going to go over to the Chippendales. Fill a bottle. She said that bottle said it was empty, so we do need something. You place your bottle under the tap while carefully considering the level of carcinogenic compounds therein. 
meaning uh, bad, like, the alcohol left over behind from there. Mix it with the water. We turn water into wine. <laughs> anyway, on to uh, Chippendales now, for real. There we go. It actually is open for once. Every time we come here, any other time, it's not. But I had to assume that's the reason why it was here. They're not going to send a guy like Larry. Well, then again, these games are kind of weird. They usually wouldn't send a guy like Larry into a place like this, so... And talk to man, or talk to him even. Hello, sir. You say you say to, <coughs> you say. Uh. <coughs> Hello, sir. You say to the doorman, "Could you give me? Could you give me some uh, information about the show inside?" The maitre d responds, "Tonight's show is offered at the specially low price rate of only twenty-five dollars." Of course. With tax, that'll come to forty-two ninety-five exactly. Holy crap, that's a lot of tax. Uh, okay. Pay man. I got the money. Here's all my money I have in the world, you say with a doorman. Boy, what luck. I just happen to have forty-three dollars in tips. And yeah, that is convenient. Why, thank you very much, ma'am. I know you'll enjoy the show. Uh, sure. Oh, sit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, says the voiceover announcer, Chippendales is proud to present in person, tonight only, for one show only, the first and original, the greatest, the owner, Dale. A smattering of applause. Yay, yay. Meh. Oh, well, there you go. They get straight to the point. Thanks. <laughs> That's a Chippendale show. <laughs> For the lady viewers out there. Okay, ladies, let's really hear it for him. Isn't he wonderful? back out like that. It's weird. The weirdest angle for anything in this. I gotta say on this. <laughs> Patty, look, it's him. Dale. He's here, walking through the audience. Talk. This one more time without losing him this time because I didn't realize that there was a lost chance here. Odeo, Iku, would you come over to join me? Say, beautiful, aren't you that fabulous babe who's entertaining over at the casino? Dale asks you. It's a privilege for me to even sit with you. Oh, thank goodness. I didn't know if we were going to catch him that time. Look at Dale. Hello, handsome, you tell the man's male stripper. My name is Patty, but you may call me passionate. That's weird. Thanks, Patty, he responds, and you may call me Dale. Because you've only got one name. <laughs> oh, get oak. <laughs> Talk to Dale. So, Dale, is there any way through that treacherous bamboo forest that lies in the north of the village? Patty, I call. I could, all I could say is, when all else fails, read your manual. Ask for help? The hell you say? Ask Dale for help. Oh, okay. Help? There we go. <laughs> Dale, I simply have to find Larry. Larry Laffer. Is there anything you could help me with? Uh, that anything you could do to help me? Is there any way? There you go. I can read. <laughs> Patty, I'm not a pathfinder, but I know this. The answer doesn't lie with anyone here. In this village. So it's just saying the manual, huh? Over and over again. And he says the same thing. Yep. 
Okay. Well then, I guess we'll have to head out into the thing and check our... I'll have to find my manual and guide for this. Thank you. Welcome. I said stand. Congratulations, you have done found of this game. Are you for real? Okay. And he's not going to do the same thing. I'm in the loop. I guess. Oh, it's a leave. That's probably what it is. He says in the manual. All right. It's been a pleasure talking with you, Dale. No, it's kind of weird, actually. Hope you get your man, Patty. I can stand. Jeez. And see you. <laughs> so, over by the comedy club. Okay. Right. What a show, eh, honey? Slips the maitre d'. How about Dale? That Dale, I guess. So, over by the Chippendale side, it's been those purple, or not Chippendales, but the um, comedy club over here. There's actually a way across. And a kind of a bamboo forest back here. It's hard to identify on my screen, but I can see it over on the recording screen a lot better. Oh yeah, here we go. This is kind of where Larry was, at least from that view. And we're in a maze. All right. I'm going to go find the guide and make sure that I've got the information, the manual, should I say, not a guide, and uh, make sure there's no uh, detail that I'm missing or anything on this. I hope that you guys are enjoying this. If you are, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a great day. Hey, fellow Asians. Don't forget to like and subscribe by clicking the button in the center of the screen. You can also find the last video by clicking the button to the left. And you can take a look at some of the other stuff I've done by clicking the button to the right. Hope you enjoyed the video, and have a good day.